In this video, we are gonna do some things to work on getting our toes to spread out and function like separate toes instead of one big blob. Um, a couple of quick assessments you can do to check in with how your toes are functioning is, um, see if you can lift just your big toes and then just your baby toes. Can you alternate back and forth? Ideally, you can even lift one toe at a time off the floor and place them down one at a time. Also, you can practice spreading them out from each other. Can you spread them out? and bring them together. So if that was pretty hard for you, the next few techniques we're gonna use can help with that. So sit in a way that you can reach your foot. You're gonna interlace your fingers in between your toes, do the best you can. Some people might just get the little fingertips through. I'm gonna work my fingers all the way through. I'm gonna shake hands with my own foot. So I'm gonna squeeze my foot with my hand and squeeze my hand with my foot. I learned this from Katie Bowman years ago. Do that a couple times and then do some circles. So I like to hold on to my foot with one hand and then the other hand is moving my toes around in a circular shape and then go the other way. And then do some toe yoga. I'm gonna hold on to the first toe and the second toe, split them one way and then the other and then apart. And then move to the second and third toes. The third and fourth. And the fourth and fifth. And then switch sides. Interlace your fingers between the toes on the other foot. Work them through the best you can do. Shake hands with your own foot a few times. circles, go the other way, and do your toe splits, first and second toe split, then one direction, then the other, and then apart, and then the second and third, third and fourth, fourth and fifth. So this is a, a nice quick technique you can do in just a couple minutes, maybe while you're watching TV or something. And then you can check in to see if that helped anything. Can you lift the big toes separately from the little toes? Better. Can you lift one toe at a time, lower them one at a time? Can you spread them out easier because you just did that work at getting those toes to separate? And if this is really challenging, don't get frustrated, just keep practicing. And I really think you'll notice progress if you make it a habit to practice these.